Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm so glad you can come. I promised you all a tutorial on this um, socks in the box that I created. This box has been around on the web and it's not any different than most boxes. I know you already know how to create, but I promised you a tutorial and I said, said I'm going to I'm going to do a video. I didn't feel like editing pictures today. As it turns out, I've been doing a lot of editing and trying to figure out videos, but that may help me in the days to come. Hopefully there will be more. Anyway, this is the box and it was fun to make. So let me show you how I did it real quickly. I started with a piece of cardstock cut eight and a half by eight and a half inches. I scored it two and a half inches on all sides. So it created the fold lines. Then I also cut the flaps, took a little chunk of the cardstock out so the flaps just adhere a little more easy. And all you need to do to assemble your box bottom is to glue it together. For the box top, I used pattern paper, but for today I just imagine it's pattern paper. It's cardstock a little easier to show you on. But it's cut at five and a half inches and it's scored on each side at one inch and turned again. And before you fold it, you're going to again take a little snip out of each corner to help it fold, but you want to keep it flat. Don't fold it yet. The next step is to choose your die cut to use to make the label on the inside or the window. And you're going to um, just choose whatever you would want to. I used the Big Shot Framelits Labels Collection and chose this label. And all you do is center it on your, you've already scored so you know where the center of your box top is and you run it through the big shot and cut the window. And then you also need, and I haven't done it yet, but you'll need to cut a piece of acetate to line the box lid with to be the inside of your window. And then decorate it. I used a tag here. I also added ribbon around the sides. And I used Stampin' Up's Tasteful Trim Die which I use all the time. I just love this die. Um, I think one of my favorites are some this small one, just to add an extra border, pretty border, but I love this big scallop, and that's what I used. I added a scallop to the box bottom, and I put it at about 7 eighths inch from the top of the box, because the box lid, the box top, is about 1 inch, and so that way they'll overlap easily. So that's it for today. Cute and simple, and I, I know you've seen these before, and I just wanted to share with you how it was done, and I hope you'll check back for more videos from me later. Thanks so much.